Ever wonder how age is just a number? Look no further than Hong Kong star Christy Chung. Recently, she made headlines confidently posing in a thin, dusty pink bodysuit, showcasing her toned figure while frolicking in the snow. The photo shoot was met with mixed reactions. There was plenty of admiration for her enviable fitness, yet some critics argued she wasn't acting her age. Despite the differing opinions, Christy Chung's bold move shines a light on her enduring sex appeal and confidence. Regardless of the views, one thing's for sure. Christy Chung certainly knows how to make a statement. Next, we travel to Melbourne where Manda Pop King Jay Cho had quite an experience at a Taylor Swift concert. Jay, along with his wife Hannah Quinlevin, were not just any attendees. They secured great seats and even had a chat with Taylor's dad, who provided insights about her songs. Now, this fun outing sparked a bit of a stir on Weibo, with netizens wondering just how Jay managed to score those tickets. But Jay, ever the cool cat, responded with a bit of humor, stating he only sees what he wants to see. Jay Cho, a fanboy at heart and a pro at handling criticism, now that's a winning combination. From concert halls to courtrooms, Taiwanese artist Aaron Yan has been making headlines for different reasons. Recently, Yan faced a travel ban due to deeply troubling allegations of filming intimate activities with a minor. These serious accusations were made by influencer Yao Lei, who claimed the incidents occurred when he was only 16 years old. It was a situation that sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. However, the Xilin District Court in Taipei has now temporarily lifted this travel ban upon payment of a hefty $1.5 million bail. Despite being cleared of sexual assault charges, Aaron is far from out of the woods. He's still under investigation for possessing intimate videos of a minor, a circumstance that could have far-reaching implications for his career. The court took into account Aaron's career and the risk of him fleeing the country when deciding on the travel ban. Meanwhile, Aaron's ex-lover accused him of illegal filming, and Aaron himself has criticized WHO leader Tedros Adhanom for claiming racist attacks from Taiwan. Aaron has also admitted to being in a long-term relationship with Ben Wang. As Aaron navigates these legal waters, we hope for a fair and just resolution. Taking a break from the controversies, let's talk about food, a favorite topic for Taiwanese singer Jam Xiao. Recently, Jam took his taste buds on a culinary journey during his visit to Singapore. From the tantalizing flavors of seafood to the sweet allure of pandan cake, he indulged in a variety of local dishes. But it wasn't just about food. Jam also wowed fans with a performance at Resorts World Sentosa. Despite his packed schedule, which is filled until 2025, Jam shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, he has plans to create an original musical, proving that his passion for the arts extends beyond the recording studio. From seafood to pandan cake, Jam Xiao's Singaporean food adventure is making us hungry. Now we shift our attention to Hong Kong actor Kenneth Ma, who recently celebrated his first Chinese New Year as a married man. Kenneth tied the knot with TVB actress Roxanne Tong in a beautiful ceremony in Thailand last December. This holiday season was their first as husband and wife, and, according to Kenneth, it didn't feel much different as he was already used to the traditional tasks assigned to him. The couple has been facing a barrage of questions from family and friends about their plans for starting a family. However, they're taking it in stride, stating that they're not in a rush and will let nature take its course. Kenneth has even stated that due to their demanding careers, they're planning for one or two children at most. Married life seems to be treating Kenneth Ma well. We wish him and Roxanne a happy and prosperous journey ahead. Finally, we cap off with a treat for all Cantopop fans out there a concert featuring George Lamb and his wife, Sally Ye. Yeah. This dynamic duo will light up the stage at the Sands Grand Ballroom, with Sally making a special guest appearance. For those new to Cantopop, George Lamb is a name that has been echoing in the halls of this music genre for over four decades. He has released a staggering 40-plus albums in English, Mandarin, and Cantonese, and has also made his mark in the film industry, bagging various accolades for his work. Notable hits like in the middle of the water and nothing gonna stop us now have become anthems for his fans. His wife, Sally Ye, is no stranger to the cantopop scene either. Together, they're best known for their heartfelt duet, Everlasting Love. Their combined talent and shared passion for music have touched the hearts of millions, making them one of the most beloved couples in the cantopop world. This concert is not just a musical event but a celebration of their journey together. With their timeless hits and undeniable chemistry, George Lamb and Sally Ye's concert is surely a must-watch event. Hey there! If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing to XOXO Gossip Lips, 
you won't miss out on any of our future videos packed with entertainment, knowledge, and fun. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Happy watching! Cheers!